Oh. Okay, so X, this is the, uh, oh, that's high security. That's not what we're talking about. This is the Black, Black Power Station. Yeah, there's a sign there. We can start. Oh, yeah, let's go over here like that. Uh, I guess if, if I do the stock question. So come on now, you hear, I, I see you by yourself. You got some little guy at the gate that opens the gate. High security. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So it's only you here. What, what what made you start this? Are you what's going on? Uh, the Black Power Station. It's a long overdue idea mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that I can say with, with modest and say it's something that people before me maybe people in your age started it mm -hmm. in a way that my uncle was uh, uh, activist in the same time with Biko and them mm -hmm. so so for me I used to rap a lot so mm. and then he had a problem with that because he believed I'd be too Americanized mm. so he gave me some black consciousness mm. books and at the same time he kind of reminded me and asked me why don't I start writing in my own language? Mm. And then I will start reflecting mm. things within the society. That's was around about 95, 96. Uh, then from there, uh, he said he gives me a week to start reading uh, Time Longer Than a Rope and other books. And then he said, after that, you will do this rapping thing if it reflects your people. So mm. even for me, when I started rapping, so it had to reflect about my own culture, the mm. politics around me. So from there, you know, the stories used to tell about how important it was for them to have a community of sharing information, a community of sharing knowledge, a community of sharing ideas, and also the fear of being caught you know, because you're learning to grow your mind with knowledge that empowers mm. you. So from that, I was inspired to say, if Steve Biko and my Lume Alesta, they were chased by the police and the white system, then uh, no one is chasing me with anything, you know? Mm. Why should I be... Um, why should I not start something? So with friends, we started many things and... Um, and then I found okay. this building. X, before you go into this building, let me see, because yeah. you mentioned before, I uh -huh. uh, uh, so you you have your broken down Bucky. Yeah, Does yeah. that work, man? It <laughs> works, but it's like it needs some money to fix it. Of course, <laughs> like everything. Yeah. But you were saying beyond that area over there, you were, you're close to the rural area. Yeah. So a lot of the stuff that, you're, that you use, a lot of stuff that you're growing from, you yeah. you, you go to the local people's. But how's yeah, that? you can't ha you you won't see much here. You mm -hmm. see because. It's trees, but there are farms around this mm. area, like Farmer Field, Salem, where local people, where they were given the land back by mm. the government after um, they realized they were chased away. So there's land repatri repatriation. Mm. So most people there, they have their own gardens mm -hmm. and their backyards. So they sell their own veggies. So we buy from them. Mm -hmm. And then some of them in town, I'm sure if you go in town, you will see mini stalls by the police station. Mm. There's people who sell their own veggies. So we support our own first, and then you go mm. to the supermarket as the last option. Well, what's the sign here? So you're being supported by somebody? No, this was... Oh, um, you, you, you pil I, no, I'm going to say it. Like, you no. pilfered this sign for some place. Look at this. Man. You, <laughs> no, let me explain to you. You see, this is my organization. Oh, okay. I started Fingo Festival. We started a festival in the township in Fingo. Mm -hmm. So there was a concept to name the city the Creative City. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So these are the organizations who are part of that conceptualization mm. of the idea creative city okay. so I made a sign then you know then the concept was funded um, the festival which is the National Arts Festival was funded yeah. by the EU yes so I have it because of my organization here but this must be fairly soon uh, recently because the the Makana label didn't start. When, last, when did they start the Makana label? Um, but the EU stopped. It, 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 the Makanda was always Makana, yes. Makana, yeah. But the city's name Makanda. Ah, okay. So that's the difference. This, we started the Finger Festival. I started it in 2011. Mm. So it's a festival that happens in the township. Okay. So, so basically, so I'm keeping this. No, no, just no. as a souvenir. 
Okay, so of some of the things that I, I saw, I accuse you of being of pilfering in some place. I, I apologize immediately. No, no, no. I take it all back. No, no, no. Understand, <laughs> understand. Oh, wait a second. I see you got a boxing. Uh, 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 whoa, you, you got a lot of frustration here that you you need to um, you no, need to get your aggression off. What's going freshen on? Freshen up, freshen up, you know. Uh -huh. and you know, you need to freshen up sometimes uh -huh. because when you work as an artist, you need to. Because we think a lot, right. you know, our mental health is important. So sometimes you get clouded with an idea and then you get stuck, you need to release some energy, mm. you know. So you might be releasing it vocally or poetically in any form or any form of creative art. But sometimes you need to be physically strong so mm. that you're not um, someone, you know, be on stage but actually your body is not strong enough but your mm. mind is mm. okay Woo. Uh, you, you know i know that they must say this to you all the time uh -huh. man x man you're a heavy dude man whoa man we, <laughs> why, we, whoa you must have been dumb books must have really registered with you with your no, uncle was that wow, yeah man. yeah so for me it's just that um i realized my own background is, as, a, as a as a person growing up in this city so basically this building was just an empty building mm -hmm. um, dust everywhere mm. uh, it took us thousands of hours mm. to put it together mm. so that's the logo of the black power station it's actually um, I took a picture of the power station when you're coming through mm -hmm. and then I asked a friend of mine to just create and write the black power station mm. but what you see on the bottom because we see we're in the outskirt of the city mm -hmm. where we are it's hard for people to get here mm. so we'll be starting a campaign called the black power station artist taxi oh. which is basically for every artist in the city that wants to go to town mm -hmm. to events we want to have our own taxi mm. um, that takes people mm -hmm. to here or any art related things around the city. Mm. So we will be campaigning now well, so for well, our own taxi. I don't want to interrupt you, you know. But, but go but, ahead, but, it's, it's better when it's well, But here's the here's the problem I have now. You must know, being mm -hmm. a South African. Well you were born where were you born and raised? Where were, were you? Born in this city. Get out of here. Raised in this city. So there's You're nothing. a Marconian? <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm a completely African citizen who's traveled the world and still will travel more. Okay, the well, world is mine. I hear you. No, <laughs> hey, I know we we all just squirrels trying to get a nut in your world. I understand. I got you no, with that. No, no, no. <laughs> but here's the thing. I'm sorry, but, but here's the thing. We all know mm -hmm. everybody and their and their tata, everybody and their grandmama mm -hmm. know that what runs this country is the taxi unions. Yes. Now, what do they have to say about you trying to start a, a taxi service that brings you, around all you see, You see, the, the important thing about dealing with something that you grow up seeing, mm -hmm. you would know how to deal with it. Mm. So when you're an outsider, it becomes a problem. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, sure, you got to get somebody in here. Yeah, okay. Meanwhile, yeah, we we'll just, we'll just, we'll just look around. So, oh, sorry, go ahead. Wow, I like Ten these banners, man. So, I love, I, I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt you, X, but I love banners. I don't know why. When you have rafters. But you can read them. Just go through them and then you read. And mm -hmm. then those banners will speak more than just the banner. Oh. So I'll roughly take you through mm -hmm. so I can go back to the questions you were asking mm -hmm. about the taxi. These are banners of people um, that were missing during the apartheid who were lost. Wow. So these are the only reference that the family have of that person. So wow. that's a t-shirt from forensic. So if you read from the text, it will explain part of it. Mm -hmm. So that one is the only photo, if you read there, what happened to my son. So that's the only image they have of him. Then there's an explanation who, who was him. And he was lost the last time that he was 20 years old. Mm. So the family never found him. Mm. So basically, we hang these things as a reminder that we come wow. from somewhere. And then wow. we still have so much to fix. Unbelievable. I'm yeah. sorry. Go oh, ahead. Okay. Oh, you got to. Man, I'm t look, so, I could be here for hours. Look, you give me, I, look I, 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 
those look like uh, honeycombs or combs or something like that yes. before. Yes, what? both for soundproofing mm -hmm. because we found that this place is uh, just an empty hall. Mm. So we needed to make sure that we can we can get away, like um, make it acoustically friendly. Mm. So we got those and also to ambiguously people say for keeping the wine and mm -hmm. but also because there's lots of bees natural bees just fly around here because mm -hmm. we more in the wild it's mm -hmm. a little bit wild this place so mm. it's part of the acoustics and part of just creating a and of course i, look. I need to answer you the thing about the taxi oh so yeah because i'll keep um, on distracting yeah. you yeah. so the taxi thing because also they understand that we ourselves as artists for an example there's a proper plan set so only people who would be in that text will be artists. So if you sign up as an artist, you will have a card. So because it doesn't mean you won't pay being in the text, but it will be cheaper because you're an artist. We understand that you're dealing with your own struggles. But those who know who can afford, they will pay a certain amount. But the text association is simple. You tell them that this, we're not actually taking your customers. Mm. We're dealing with people who are dealing with us. Even now, for us, ourselves, when there's an event here, we go to them. Mm. We pay them to bring people here. Mm. So there's already a coexisting relationship. These are people I grow up looking at, mm. and some of them are younger than me. Mm. So basically, sitting down with them and a proper explaining to them the cause, they will be the first people to say, why not? Because mm. in town, there's private taxes that mm. are already picking up people already. Mm. So in a way, it will be... One of the additions um, to, to that. So while you're taking pictures here, you see this is a giant tree mm -hmm. that I picked it up from outside. Mm -hmm. um, and I put a chair for my daughter. When she comes here, she climbs here and sits there. And <laughs> so, how, my ass, how old is she now? She's nine. Uh -huh. yeah. so she, Even she, me, she, I can sit there. It's, but she's been climbing since what age? Uh, ever since she land, landed here, I always make her climb. Mm -hmm. And it's, a, it's, it's a safer tree mm -hmm. yeah, where, where there's books around. Um, I was about to mention that. <laughs> mm, so so why you see the books, uh, if you can see in some of the little videos we have on YouTube, uh, entering this venue, mm. the highest currency is paying with the book. Really? Yes, the highest currency to enter the door. If like now you are coming, mm. there was mm. a show. Mm -hmm. but you don't have money in your pocket, but mm -hmm. you have a book mm -hmm. that you're willing to let go. Mm -hmm. And then everybody must move aside mm -hmm. and let you in. You become the king or the queen Oh, when you have a book. Oh, So most of the books are paid for by people mm -hmm. when they enter. Some of them are donated by friends mm -hmm. when they're leaving the offices or or someone cleaning their garage or something. So <gasps> I'm sorry. I don't mean to. I don't mean to. I really, I'm sorry. Puddinghead Wilson, I did an audio drama on this, man, and it is part of what's called a river series. I'm sorry, I'm getting no, excited. From Mark Twain, people understand, like, the whole, the, the river series, the, that the whole thing with, uh, 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 um, what do you call it, Huck Finn and, and whatever, and Puddinghead and Wilson is one of those, I think it's like four books, but nobody knows this is a brilliant book. This is a brilliant book. I did it as an audio drama in New York we were back in the day in the 90s. Mm -hmm. And people think it's a slave. No, it's Puddinghead Wilson. Wow, you got this book. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. I'm Look, I got to be back in July, man. I'm, I'm bringing books, money. I don't care. I'm, I got books, you know. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, no, no. That's freedom, just... you know. Uh, in July, if you come in July, it will be because will be, it's going to be the festival. Mm -hmm. So we'll be having lots of curation and performances mm -hmm. happening. So, yeah. So we, have, we don't curate the books. Mm -hmm. uh, we leave them scattered mm -hmm. deliberately. Mm -hmm. Like now you founded a book. Oh. Imagine if it was it was placed in a different way maybe you wouldn't even see the book yes, so it sort of spoke to me right now yeah definitely and we have a rule here which you you you've skipped um mm. normally when you come to the place we give you a book um and then oh Cass cradle i know yeah, kurt yeah and then what happens is that the culture is you flip the book mm -hmm. you read where your eyes land Mm -hmm. You stop where you want to stop. Mm -hmm. So we're promoting reading without... But you have to tell us the book you're reading. 
and then when you pay you don't page and look for your own personal mm. view you just I got you so yeah. it's like it's like I of course I'm looking at transforming Africa yeah. it sounds if uh, uh, Kofi somebody mm. and it but it sounds like it's uh you know m more of a non-fiction so I would just open to any page yes. page five and then you tell us what page you're in you read where you want to start uh -huh. and then and then when you're done probably would lead us to a conversation that mm. none of us prepared to talk about. Really? So, yeah. So I would say, so, however, Africa needs all its people, as Nkrumah showed through the developments of his ideas. Uh, no one is too old to learn and change their ways. Everyone is, a pos is in a position of influence, has a duty to at least confront the questions raised by the experience of the past three decades, wow! And then we then and then then we talk about that. Definitely. Oh man! So meaning that if you go back from mm -hmm. my original introduction, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is that even myself, I loved being like rapping and stuff, but my uncle showed me a different perspective to mm -hmm. be impactful in my own community. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So even that's why I stopped rapping myself mm -hmm. because I see no point in it because what I write. Is is more about growing the community. Mm -hmm. What I write, I'm more. It's like I'm, I'm finding connected to my own writings. So that's why I always talk about how we build our own society. That's why I happen to have my own space so that we can intellectually engage as people mm -hmm. and find our own meanings and find our own voices without running away. Like our uncles used to run away. They used to hide to read. Yeah. Books. They used to hide to share politics. So, so basically, here this is his typewriter. Oh writing. man! It was his typewriter. I'm a Smith Corona man myself, but that quite this one. Oh wow! But the police, the 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 police broke it when they raided his house. Mm. Um, so I picked it up in his house when he passed away. So mm. some of the books that are mixed within the other books are books I found from him. Mm. So it's it's a collage of books. Books are a very powerful emblem here, mm -hmm. and also they are also helpful for the acoustics of the building. Of course, yeah, I'm sure you can hear the sound is nice and beautiful. Mm. Um, so here we be really be before you get to I'm, I'm sorry, yeah. excellent, oh. but uh, how old when when was your uh, uncle born? When, what year was he born? Yeah, I don't know. Around about, you... around about, you know. Mm. Who Alesta probably uh, I think he might be fifty five or something. Nineteen fifty five. I'm sure he might be fifty five now if oh. he was alive or fifty five. Oh, so so he's in the sixties born in Yeah, the, somewhere the, there. Okay. I'm not sure. I'd never no, I'm just I'm trying to place him in the in the context of, of the apartheid regime. Yeah, That's but I, I know he there's one shoe that is his home, mm. one pair of his shoe that the first time, because he was working with Biko and them, oh, he worked okay. his duty, apparently, when mm. he tells me the story. Um, mm. He was recruited to work at Rhodes as a, as a, as a chef. Oh. And it still works. It works. So he, so he to work as a chef. And while recruiting people to join the workers, the Black Workers Union, mm. and then, but he, there's a lot of stuff you might like what he wrote, but he passed away. So I'm trying to actually archive the stuff he has, um, the stuff mm. he wrote about Rhodes himself. Mm. Um, so basically, here we're trying to collage things and make them mm. work. In a, this, this is a door that leads to nowhere. <laughs> Um, so, so basically, well, you say leads nowhere, but for my context, it would be the door of no return yeah. in terms so, of synagogue. So it's like a beautiful concept, but that I'm working on. So mm -hmm. basically, yeah. So this, so this is your canvas. This building is your canvas. Yes, and, and, and it's more. Yeah, it, it is that canvas. It is that home. It is that reflection. So of it's me. a three D canvas, or, or, or three dimensional, or, or four dimensional, or five dimensional, or six dimensional canvas. A living canvas. A living canvas, yes. Yeah, a living one that doesn't, it's not stagnant. Yes. Tomorrow when you come again, mm -hmm. it might be different. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. so everyone who's been here before, they always get surprised every time because 
the venue changes. I, I hate to bring up a French thing, but okay. hey, you got chandeliers, man. Yeah, hey, we, look at that. <laughs> um, we made this myself with bottles I picked up in the yard. Um, these ones, yes, you got them at home. They mm -hmm. were like with food in them, so we converted them. These are like gin bottles, wine bottles. Mm. Yeah, so, so basically this place you are in now is called the book corner. This is mm. the corner where we do our library. Mm -hmm. This is our book corner, library, reading. Oh, it looks like you do session. some sound work. Hey. Yeah, poetry mm -hmm. sessions. We have here similar seminars. Mm. Um, you know, so basically this is it's also a partner of the tree. You see, there's another ah, tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is also another tree we picked up. It took three hours. This tree is very heavy. To bring it to bring it in here, so basically. Well, you're all a strong young man. Hey. Yeah, definitely. We must <laughs> use our energy, you know. So we're trying to collect some books, and then some of them are just books that we use as you are reading. They might be badly written, but one sentence can start a conversation that can lead us somewhere. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so basically. Oh, look, a real globe, which means you have the actual size of, or close to the actual size of Africa. Rather these maps that <laughs> don't show you anything. Okay. So, oh, so and a radio. I'm a radio man, so I'm yeah. like, oh, and you got your logo on the radio. Yes, yes. We oh, are. that's nice. Yeah, we wow. were evading the. the <laughs> 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 yeah, but it's here. It needs to reflect mm -hmm. the inside of this place. So, mm -hmm. I've collected some vinyls, mm -hmm. you know, also that we I like to play them, but I need to get myself a vinyl player. Oh, um, well, they're so available now. So, yeah. so basically, yeah, this is my spot, man, the Black Power mm -hmm. Station. Mm -hmm. It is that space. Yeah, well, um, we get a lot of books, you know, that people donate, you know, mm -hmm. and we make them come alive. You know? Another typewriter, more modern. Yeah. The other one. Yes, yes. Well, who? Uh, well, you're, you're out of the way, to tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you're out of the way. That's just okay. So who comes and visits you? How do people find out about you? What, how like you, it? how you found me. <laughs> well, I just, I know peoples who know peoples yes. who know peoples. That's yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> so there's always that connection. It's like rivers, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like, you know, water comes from everywhere, but mm -hmm. people can identify one river, but they don't mm -hmm. know where the water is coming from. Mm -hmm. So the Black Power Station, uh, the, I call it the, the, the international arts destination. Mm -hmm. So the idea why we call it the the Black Power Station, the international arts destination. So imagine you at OR Tambo Airport mm. or in any international airport, you find many people going everywhere. Mm. So the Black Power Station, who comes here is students, academics, artists, individuals, anybody who's everybody who wants an alternative space to express themselves without mm. being limited on who they mm. are. Mm. So we post our stuff, we advertise, we we haven't advertised drastically, you know, like heavy, you know, because I'm still trying to find mm. my myself here because it's not a funded venue. Good. Um, That's a good thing. Yes, but it is struggle because now mm. you can't constantly do events mm. because you're not funded. How are you going to get a sound system when there's a mm. band coming? Mm. Um, how are you going to sustain paying your team mm. that works here? So, mm. so we're building a vision of saying um, my, my thing, my philosophy as X, as Kolile Matinda is this. Funding must follow the vision mm. so that even if there's no money, the vision can continue. Mm. Not for me to write a proposal because there's a bunch of money sitting somewhere because once that money is gone, then there's mm. nothing I can hold on to. Funders will deviate you towards what they want to achieve. Mm. But when the funder sees my vision, what I want, and they follow my vision, then the sustainability for me exists. So mm. the place is growing um, from 2014 officially, I can say, but the idea exists beyond 2014 but it manifests in a physical space in 2014. And yeah, and we were still here. We've traveled, there's many people who love this space. Um, you're like in Virginia, 
University of Virginia, like we run classes with the students at the African electronic classes at the music department. Some students, we talk to them before Zoom was popular. We always like run classes with them with a friend of mine, No Lobby, which I'll be meeting them now in, in, in DC in, on the 29th of November. I'll be there for like four days. 25th of November later this no, year? No, 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 October, uh, 25th. March. Oh, my, oh, oh, March. The, the end of this month, okay. The end of this March. Yeah, well, so I'll be there till the 6th of April. So four days in D.C. and uh, I think two days in Virginia. Mm. Yeah, so basically, we're trying to show the people the place exists and then share mm. love. And um, this is our favorite table. Mm. Um, it's made of floppy disks. So I've collected floppy disks for years. I didn't know what I was going to do. And then I finally, in 2018, mm-hmm. we I made a table out of the floppy disks. Mm. We call this table Usolwa Utenamafa. Utenamafa is English destroyers of African languages sometimes. So Utenamafa is like the keeper of knowledge. The keeper of, because a floppy disk keeps files, mm-hmm. you know. So I played around that, but this table is the one that keeps secrets because I don't know what is in mm. these floppy disks. Mm. So it's keeping the secrets that I would never know what's in them. Mm. So mm. basically, yeah, man. Um, mm. And people signed it. Mm. This year we've opened it in 2018, and this year we opened it during the festival. So mm. you you came at the time where we've locked it again with a duct tape. Oh, so, right there. so so basically, these are messages left by people. I'm gonna be, I'm, you know, why I'm gonna be back in July. No, then you're coming here. Uh, well, just see the thing is, I live in I live in Timbaza, so I, oh, yeah, I can hit your ride. I can hit your yeah. ride, yeah, yeah like, like that. Cool, then. Like that. Okay. Lots of rappers who always mm. come here from Timbaza, actually. Really? Yeah. Oh, that that means you're known. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, well, well, so, well, well, well. X, mm-hmm. I wanna just, um, mm-hmm. I just wanna uh, say. Uh, Thanks a lot. We'll both oh, yeah, yeah, right yeah. there. The mirror. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Hey, let, let me try to just do this thing. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I see my 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 father left me some nice white hair. You know, I'm enjoying them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. Thanks so much for this. Thank All you right. very much. Sure. Yeah.